downloading. Downloading is a fact of life. People do it. It happens. How can you blame them for not doing it? Do you do it? I don't. I have don't. you ever done it? I have never downloaded. Mm. I uh, not even porn. Uh, <laughs> more streaming, but not uh, I. It's 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 a fine line because you want your music out there and you want it to be as accessible as possible to everybody, but. I'm from an. We're all from like a, an age where you had to buy music because you wanted it. You wanted to. You wanted to support the band. You wanted to um, help them grow. And if you're stealing, you're not really supporting that band. You know, and it's it's kind of it's hard because you don't want to sound like Lars and be like, you know, I'm gonna sue some little kid for downloading our record. Because all he wants to do is listen to your music, and that's all you want him to do. And he probably doesn't even have it in his head that you know he's stealing. He just knows he can get it for free. Why not? Um, I think people, as I think musicians and promoters and kids that are in the scene that are you know a little older, need to instill to these to the younger generation that you know if you're stealing from the bands. It's going to be harder and harder for any of us to get on the road. This is not cheap, and we don't make a lot of money at all. Not at this level. Um, I know we are on a big tour right now, um, but this costs each each one of us a lot of money just to get to this point of our own money that we work really, really hard for just to get out here and play for everybody. You know, so if they're stealing from you, it triples what's going to happen, or what we're going to have to pay out of pocket, and it's just going to become impossible for people to be able to tour. You know, bands that are bands that should be selling out stadiums are going to get reduced to playing smaller and smaller venues because they're not going to be able to afford the overhead. Concerts cost money to, to to put on. There's people you have to pay. There's all kinds of bills. There's gas. You know, everybody knows gas is expensive. For us to get there, we have to drive. We have to make money to make to to put gas in the tank, and if kids are stealing, it makes it twice you know ten times harder. I understand completely, uh, but so many people are sharing, and they don't grasp the concept that it the difference between stealing and sharing. Did you have something you wanted to add to that? It's like people have been doing it for so long too that it's the point where you know people have gotten used to the fact that they can just get music instantly and it's never really going to stop so I guess at least if you are going to you know get curious and try to discover some music and stuff like that come out meet us you know go to a show buy buy a t-shirt and that's that to me is really the best way that you could really help any artist just meet them and get involved and you know become part of it so if you stream the record to find us come to the show buy a CD you got it for free already, but now you can get the artwork. Now you can get the lyrics. Now you can get the heart and soul of what we put into it, and that would mean the, that means the world to us more than more than anything. And uh, do you? Uh, I'm a metalhead. I read metal uh, magazines. I read metal online. The two sites that I mostly go to is uh, and Blabbermouth, and the rest of them are all pretty much just reprints of those two sites do you uh pay attention to metal in that way oh yeah we uh each one of us we're all you know we go online see what our favorite bands are doing we uh we like to see the news uh i'm a big fan of gunshy assassin oh yeah uh chris harris is a first of all he's funny he put you know he he likes to put his own little touch to everything and it's it's awesome uh metal sucks is 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 another one that I, I see all the time. I'm I go on I'm on Facebook on my phone and they're in my feed constantly and if I love the fact that I can jump in there and just see I see something about Lamb of God and the whole that whole Randy situation. I was able to keep up to date through uh, Gunshy and Metal Sucks and uh, Blabbermouth PRP all of them and it was awesome. You know, it it's a great way to to get your uh, get your metal news. For sure. Like instantly. There's a couple of, uh, you know, local websites that we visit too, you know, like Return to the Pit, you know, Nefarious Realm, you know, there's some friend of us who run it and they're very devoted to metal. They're always at shows, either taking pictures or writing reviews of concerts. So 
we we are also metalheads you know we we live for this and it's not only about playing music it's also about living the music you know that means listening trying to find new bands you know go to shows all the time you know and support them as well because you cannot ask for support if you don't support the scene you know what i mean so you you have to go out there even if you don't have that much money try to save a little bit and spend that, those 10 bucks that you're gonna spend on on a coffee or cigarettes you know go go to a show pay a ticket to go to a show pick a and pick up a t-shirt i don't know but live art you know live music you know go go see it because it's something it's a u unique experience that you're not gonna get it by going to the movies or going to a museum you know it, this is raw energy that it's right on your face and it's melting you so it's it's an opportunity that we don't have these days so you i highly recommend to do that shit you know go out and go to a show did you guys played the uh, metal fest last night was that was that crazy or was it insane it was uh like nine thousand ten thousand people um almost like a hundred bands uh it was a very long day and it was a lot of fun it was a great experience that was our west coast debut we couldn't have we couldn't have dreamed to have a better uh uh opportunity than to have a, a debut at, a, at something that uh that great and that grand uh, on the scheme of things you know most people you play someplace about the size of this room for your first show when they don't know who you are uh people came out they checked us out um they bought merch you know we made some some new family members and uh hopefully those people will you know they'll tell they'll tell 10 friends and next time we come out to the southern california area those 10 friends will bring 10 more friends be like hey i saw this cool band from boston let's go they're coming let's go check them out you know and that's that's all we're that's all we're hoping for is you know help start building our fan base so we can when we come out you know we got people there they know the words and you know they're having fun and singing along and that's that's what it's all about is having a good time okay and then finally uh what's next after the kill switch tour do you have some other good stuff lined up that you can't tell me about <laughs> um i think um right before the kill switch tour uh became uh, a reality for us we were about to get into writing mode and we have a lot of really great ideas that uh Chris and Felipe and Kevin have been working really, really hard on. But as soon as this dropped into our lap, we had to flip because you can't, it's really hard to do both. You got to concentrate on one or the other to make it right. So I think uh, as of right now, uh, the plan is to get back in our, in our heads and get into writing mode and get an, another record done because uh, we've got some really great ideas. We're actually playing one new song on this tour. Um, just because it felt right, it was one of those situations where it was we thought it was such a good a good enough song that we could bring it out now without it being recorded yet. So uh, I think that's our plan: is get right back into our heads, get writing, get a new record done, and uh, get back out as fast as possible with two records to sell right. and two records worth of music for everybody to hear. Well, cool. Look forward to it, man. And. Thank you for your time and uh, have a great show and be safe. Yeah.